Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Brandon for freedomhacker.net and today we are going to be talking about WikiLeaks Vault 7 in the program that allowed the CIA to spy on pretty much any smart TV they wanted to. They could just go ahead, tap in, boom, listen to your conversation. So let's go ahead and talk about this. You guys have probably been hearing about WikiLeaks Vault 7 and Weeping Angel all over the news. It is huge news. And what Vault 7 is, is this information that WikiLeaks has released on the CIA. It shows that the CIA has been running this unclassified hacking unit, just doing tons of unclassified operations. They have a huge arsenal of hacking tools that we've never even seen. And today we're gonna to be talking about one of those experts and it is dubbed Weeping Angel. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to the CIA. That's a, that's a that's a pretty cool name for an operation. But guys, Weeping Angel is actually pretty terrifying. So let's talk about what Weeping Angel is. Now Weeping Angel is an operation. That, that was the name of it. It was dubbed Weeping Angel. And what it was was an exploit into Samsung TVs that allowed them to go ahead and listen in on conversations. So Samsung uh, has a, a lot of smart TVs today will actually have a camera and microphone built in and a lot of uh, a lot of businesses will use these for um, you know uh, Skype meetings or Skype calls business meetings and all that so a lot of businesses will actually use these smart TVs that have microphone and cameras and the uh, the CIA not the NSA again the CIA found an exploit with their uh, one of their unclassified hacking units guys they found an exploit into the Samsung smart TV that allowed them to go ahead and activate the microphone go ahead and record the conversation while the TV appeared off and then go ahead and transmit that data back to them so one thing that I don't see a lot of media talking about that I find really interesting is how weeping angel actually works so let's go ahead and dive into this and let's talk about a little bit of the technical details so the CIA found that the Samsung smart TV even when it's connected to a network is always actually scanning for networks nearby so the CIA found that they could actually just go ahead and create a rogue access point and just force the Samsung TV to connect to it now a lot of Internet of Things devices just like a smart TV are super insecure so it's extremely easy to go ahead and just force the TV to connect to it and that way the CIA is not disrupting the people's network so uh, when they're transferring data over the network the the people that have a smart TV in the room don't even know because they actually have it connected to their own access point so the CIA had developed something called fake off mode and what fake off mode was was it actually a, this is what it's called in the notes fake off it actually made the Samsung TV appear off with no logos no lights or anything while the microphone was actually activated and listening in on the conversation so through the WikiLeaks vault 7 it shows that the CIA had a, a very very large operation on this so through the vault 7 documentation it shows that the CIA had a range of quality levels they had quality 1 which was the lowest all the way up to quality 7 which was the highest and what they found was that um, the Samsung TV had a 1.6 gigabyte hard drive and they found that they could record up to 700 megabytes of audio before it'd have to go ahead and cut to another uh, recording. And with level five, the CIA found that about every 24 seconds was 100 kilobytes of data. So they could record mass amounts of data. They actually found that through testing, they didn't uh, label the quality, but I would assume it is quality one, the lowest. They found that through testing, they could actually leave it on for 72 hours without any noticeable defects. So imagine if these smart TVs were in a press room, they could be recording for 72 hours. Or imagine if these are in high level business meetings. They can have a range of quality. They can turn the quality up to level seven so they can have crystal clear audio. And one of the big issues with Weeping Angel that I don't see almost anybody talking about is that within one of the documents, it shows that the CIA can actually extract the, the browsing history, which is not really a big deal, but they can actually extract the Wi-Fi credentials off of the TV. So that means that they can go ahead and lift the Wi-Fi SSID and password right off the TV, and then they can go ahead and hop right into the uh, corporate network if they wanted to. So I think that is a huge deal that a lot of people are not mentioning is that Weeping Angel, not only can it go ahead and record a whole entire conversation, a whole entire room's conversation, they can actually go ahead and just lift the Wi-Fi credentials right off of this the smart TV and then go ahead and just waltz right in the network and do as they please because they have tons and tons of Windows, Linux, Android, iOS exploits for every system, Mac OS, every single system they have a giant ex they have a giant gaping hole exploit for that we're going to be going over but guys this is just part one 
of uh, a huge series that we have going on on Vault 7. We're talking about Weeping Angel right here, which was a program that allowed the CAA to go ahead and tap into smart TVs. Now guys, let's be honest, the CAA doesn't need a warrant. They don't need to go to any kind of FISA court. The CAA was running unclassified operations. They can just go ahead, hack right into the network. Don't believe this hack Michael Hayden goes on the Stephen Colbert show. And there's a clip of him and they say, well, Stephen Colbert says, hey, can you, can you listen in on my TV? And Weeping Angel is the name of the program where they're looking through my TV. Is the CIA listening to me through my microwave oven and through my TV and through my cell phone? Are they doing that, sir? Michael Hayden, <laughs> he does this weird little snicker and he says, oh no, we can't listen in on your TV. No. If they were, <laughs> would you say yes? Yes. <laughs> I, I can tell you that these tools would not be used against an American. We'd we can only listen in on the bad guy's TV. Actually, this afternoon, this being an item of interest, I did some quick research. It's a non-scientific sample. There are some bad people in the world who have Samsung TVs too. That is complete bogus. Why are you guys running it in completely unclassified CAA hacking unit? That WikiLeaks is just uncovering. This is absolutely crazy. So guys, be sure to stay tuned on this YouTube channel if you guys wanna hear more about Vault 7, WikiLeaks, and all the crazy exploits and programs and just this cyber warfare that is uh, erupting right before us. So be sure to stay tuned to our YouTube channel. Be sure to check out our website, freedomhacker.net. And I hope you guys are all out there staying secure.